What up, fellas? This is Sage once again. I'm back for another commentary, and this one's going to be uh, Domination on Subbase, and I'm going to be using uh, a different type of class this time. You guys have actually seen it before, I think, once, or a similar. Uh, you see me use the uh, L86 here, LSW. But uh, this game um, is going to be pretty good. Actually, it's, a, it's really not that good. I have a... I'll get a nuke, which is pretty fun. Um, but it's not the best game, especially the first uh, few deaths I have are just painful to watch. The first minute or two, two is like not fun. But uh, my class setup is the L86 LSW uh, with Scavenger, Danger Close, and Sit Rep Pro. Um, my secondary is uh, RPG, just for the heck of it. Um, because I don't think with the LMGs that you need stopping power, so I felt like going uh, Danger Close and RPG, and then I got Claymore, uh, which will pick me up some kills as well, and I got Stun Grenades. Uh, the RPG is kind of ridiculous. Like, um, I don't know. It'll just, uh, it's a lot of fun to use. I, I really like using it just for fun. And I'm also just, I was leveling it up at the time. Uh, I don't really care about leveling anything up anymore. Um, Painkiller, of course, can take a rocket to your back. No problemo, senor. Uh, I don't know, I like, uh, I would say this is one of my favorite LMGs to use, just, uh, personally. I, I know most people wouldn't choose it, they'd probably go with the AUG, or possibly the RPD. Um, but I seem to like this one a lot, it's just, uh... It handles nicely for me. This is unfortunate. Rocket in the window, and then it doesn't reload for me. Uh, oftentimes, I'll use this same class with just Scavenger Pro switched out for Sleight of Hand. Um, but in this case, uh, my kill streaks are Stealth Bomber, AC-130, and Nuke. So uh, you're gonna have a tough time getting getting those kill streaks if you don't have Scavenger on. Really, with any class. Um, just because you need the ammo. Uh, and oftentimes you're not, if you're going to camp, which I'm not, I don't know if you'd say I'm camping. Uh, I'm up on the top here uh, most of the time. But if you're going to camp, you're usually not going to run out for new weapons. So you want to just uh, have as much ammo as you can before you have to run out and get new weapons. So uh, you'll see me control the top here. And uh, I just, I'm trying to get RPG kills. So uh, if you think that's kind of noobish, then uh, I don't care. <laughs> so uh, there's plenty. Look, I don't know. If I'm going to use, R if people are going to complain about RPGs, um, I'm just going to be like, come on. Noob tube, like, a noob tube is attached to your primary weapon. So you switch in and out, like, five times faster. And you, it's, like, completely accurate uh to where you're shooting. The RPG goes everywhere. That's why the AT4 is a lot of fun actually too. Because that thing is accurate as a mother in law. And uh, it's like really accurate. Anyway. Um, let me know if you guys. Uh, if you guys. Again, I've said this before in a. How many nuke videos? Oh, this is my favorite part. Because <laughs> this is life that I get the nuke on. And I never would have gotten it if I didn't have final stand on. Uh, I just happened to live through this, and uh, I'm going to eventually get my nuke on this life. Um, where was I? I was beatboxing, that's what I was doing apparently. Uh, that's how I think, I beatbox. Um, oh. oh, wait, where was I? Oh, do you guys, uh, <laughs> It's it's been a while since I've done this commentating thing. Um, which, uh, again, I apologize for, for, uh, ooh, this is a fun stealth bomber. ADD, too. I'm so ADD. This is a fun stealth bomber, though. I think I get five kills with it. Boo yakasha. Um, I think I was saying, let me know if you guys like these nuke videos. Honestly, I don't know, uh, since I've taken a break from Modern Warfare 2. I may go back and play it, like I said in the, uh, in my Search and Destroy video. I may go back and play it, uh... 
once the Reach beta is gone, or I may continue to play Halo 3 until the Reach um, Halo Reach is actually out. Um, but you know, I I don't know. I do like this game. Uh, I just get sick of it like really fast. Halo 3, I'm good at. I don't get sick of it as fast. Um, and I can still upload videos of Halo, which I don't know if you guys mind or not. I figure it's a first-person shooter. It is definitely different from uh, Call of Duty in many ways, but if you guys just like seeing people uh, like shoot other people's faces off and talking about it, um, then hopefully you'll just enjoy uh, Halo videos as well, uh, which I know like Hutch has switched over to Halo, and uh, I don't like I like Hutch a lot, um, but I think my videos would actually be, I, I don't know, I think I'm better at Halo than him, just from what I've seen uh, out of his videos, like I'm not trying to, I'm not, you guys know I'm not a douche or anything, but I do think uh, I'm better at Halo than him, so hopefully like people would enjoy my videos just as much, because the gameplay is actually uh, good, and I know Hutch is an awesome commentator, like he's hilarious, um, and he definitely knows what he's talking about with Modern Warfare. Uh, but I don't know how enjoyable his Halo commentaries would be um, if he can't. I I don't know. I, I'm sure with time he'll uh, he'll get better and stuff. But if you don't really know, like this isn't directed at Hutch, basically. But if you don't really know like much about the game and you're not that great at it, you know your commentaries aren't gonna be that great. Like Ken Burton, for example. If you guys know who that guy is with Machinima. I can't stand him just because not because he's British uh, racists there's a triple kill um, but because he's horrible at the game and I don't care I don't know he's not funny enough to uh, or interesting enough to make his gameplay interesting because he's not good at all um, and that goes for a couple other people that I don't uh, necessarily enjoy just because their gameplay isn't fun to watch. They can't uh, provide you with any tips if they aren't good. And um, and I don't know. Unless you're hilarious and can make up for it. I don't really care to watch your videos. And um, I don't know. Hopefully I'm not one of these people. I, I know I'm... I mean, I'm not a hothead. I'm not a douche. But I'm not going to be, you know, like all humble, like completely humble about it like I know I'm better than a lot of people at this game and at Halo um, so I hope you guys just enjoy my videos for what they are which is um, awesome basically <laughs> I'm kidding uh, okay this is a lot of rambling I don't even know I got my nuke a while back uh, but I'm just gonna run around and kill people um, because it's fun to do and I don't know, you have no reason to call in your nuke right away unless uh, there's a threat that the other team is going to get a nuke as well. Or I guess a person on your own team even. You want to get your nuke in. But uh, this game, there's no reason for me to call in my nuke early if I'm still playing, you know, decently well. That's not really a phrase, decently well. But let's say it is for the sake of me. For my sake, actually. Um... Actually, this video might be too long. Let's just skip ahead to the end. Um, so you'll see me just calling my nuke here. I told my teammates that uh, that they didn't need to cap anything, so we obviously lost the lead. Um, but they trusted me that I had a nuke. So I told them they didn't need to cap anything. And you'll see me calling my nuke, and the game is over. We win. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like these nuke videos or if you'd like to see... I know you guys like the sniping videos and whatnot, so uh, just let me know what you want to see more of. Um, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.